Hello everyone, my name is Ellie and I am from an education charity called Educate and Celebrate and we support you to embed gender and sexual orientation into the fabric of your school or organisation. Now, to support us in that very important mission, uh, we are really, really proud to have been part of the team to create this gloriously colourful and educational picture book for young people, schools, teachers and families. So we really hope you enjoy our book and you love it just as much as we have loved creating it for you. A is for acceptance. When you accept yourself and other people accept you for who you are. B is for belonging. When you know you are in the right place surrounded by the things you love and the people who make you feel good. C is for celebrate. Life is full of amazing moments and wonderful people. We should all celebrate each other. D is for difference. No two people are the same. Meeting new people and learning more about people everywhere is always exciting. E is for equity. When we give everyone the things they need to do the things they want to in life. F is for flag. There are lots of flags that people use to show who they are. G is for gender. Something people guess about you based on how you dress or how your body looks. But you know best who you are. H is for human rights. All humans have the right to live how they want. Some people need help because their rights have been taken away. I is for icon. Someone special, usually a famous person who you and lots of other people want to be like. J is for justice. Making sure everyone is treated fairly to give them the same chance to be successful. K is for kindness doing nice things to help make other people's lives better, like sharing your favourite toy. L is for love. Love is a feeling you have for someone who is very special to you. You can love whoever you want or no one, as not everyone falls in love. M is for March. Some people march in the streets to tell others about something that is important to them or something they think is unfair. N is for non-binary. A word for a person who doesn't see themselves as a particular gender. O is for out. Being out means telling other people about your gender 
or who you love. P is for pride. Being a confident LGBTQ plus person and happy with who you are. Q is for questioning. It's okay not to know your gender and who you love or don't love. Your feelings might change too, and that's okay. R is for rainbow. The rainbow flag is a special sign for all LGBTQ plus people. The stripes mean love, healing, sunlight, nature, harmony and spirit. S is for stereotypes. When you think you know who a person is and what they feel because of the way they look. Clothes and colours are for everyone. T is for trans. Someone whose gender does not match what was written on their birth certificate when they were born. U is for understanding. Listening to what other people say about themselves helps you to understand them. V is for values. Values are things you think are important, like honesty, kindness, taking turns, sharing and thinking about other people's feelings. W is for wig. Fake hair that some people wear for fun, to show who they are and to make them feel good. X is for Z. We all use pronouns to talk about someone without using their name, such as she, he, or they. Some people use Z instead. Y is for you. You are a wonderful person, whoever you are. Always be you. Z is for zero. The number of people we want to be unhappy. Hello again, everyone. We hope our book brought you lots of joy and happiness. And you also discovered the discussion pages at the back of the book too. And also you've improved your alphabet. So from this point forwards, we just wish you all the very best on your journeys. And let's hope together we can build a future of inclusion and social justice. Lots of love, everybody. Mwah.